All right, people, so I'm here with your Raw review. Let's just get right into the show here. We have Heyman coming out to cut a promo to begin the show. And you can never go wrong with a Paul Heyman promo. Good fucking promo here. Um, you know, talking about Under Undertaker and uh, uh, fucking, you know, Lesnar, the match last night. You know, good fucking promo. I mean, Heyman just cuts out a good promo. You can almost guarantee, you know, you could almost put a $100 bet on him cutting a good promo every week. So then, um, you know, after Heyman's good promo, you have Bo Dallas coming out, uh, and then, you know, trying to cheer up Lesnar or whatever, uh, Lesnar F5s him or whatever, you know, pretty, you know, any time Lesnar beats up somebody, it's pretty cool, so yeah, you know, good way to start out the show there, and a, and a good fucking, you know, you know, good fucking beat up there by Lesnar, good fucking promo by Heyman, so overall, good start to the show. Then we have the New Day defeating the Lucha Dragons. It's a fucking short, boring match. And whoever, who, who, who the fuck cares about the match? Because who the fuck cares? Because fucking, um, you got the Dudleys coming back. Cool moment there. I mean, the Dudleys. I mean, you look back at some of the moments of Dudleys, you know, fucking going through tables and everything. Very popular tag team. Cool to see the Dudleys back. Um, and the thing that sucked about this is, as I said, I was on vacation for the past, from uh, Saturday to Wednesday, so I didn't get to see Raw until, uh, l l like, Sunday, which was yesterday. Um, and, and, you know, if you're somebody like me who, who goes on YouTube a lot, there's almost no way to avoid seeing the spoilers. I, I'm, I almost always see the spoilers when I, when I don't watch the Raw the day of. So I saw Sting came back, I saw the Dudleys came back, so that kind of sucked for me, but anyway, you know, cool to see him back and everything, so that was a, a great segment there to see the Dudleys back, the match sucked, but who the fuck cares about the match because the Dudleys were back, you know, 3D through the table, so that was fuck, fucking great right there, then we have the Reigns, Reigns and Ambrose versus the Wyatts, once again, just ending in, in DQ, so why have the match again if it sucked last night, you know, it's just stupid, stupid to, 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 to do that, so, but the, the real part about this match was fucking this anonymous, I'm just going to call him anonymous, <laughs> debuted for Bray Wyatt. Oh, they, they named him some name after. They, 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 I couldn't even understand what Bray Wyatt said in his promo. He, the guy has some name, but for now he's just anonymous. So anonymous debuts for the Wyatt family, and he's a big fucking guy. They're, they're trying to call him, oh, he's so big, he's 400 pounds. Come on, all right. No, they're, they're, they're exaggerating a little bit there, but... You know, he had some decent power moves there. You know, he cool how he lifted Reigns up and choked him and whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that was that was cool to see a new member of the Wyatt family debut. That was cool, uh, you know. So overall, the match sucked, but I'm going to say overall, a good fucking segment because you got a new debut there of a Wyatt family member. Had some nice power moves and shit. And, you know, something out of the ordinary, something new, something creative. So that was good. Then we have the Miz TV with the Bellas. In, in, in Team PCB, you know, there was some good back and forth here between Miz in, in uh, Team PCB and also the Bellas too, so, so some, it surprised me, there was actually some good back and forth, but I mean, it was just kind of seemed to me like it was just silly fucking banter, I mean, it just seemed kind of childish, but at the same time, there was some good, you know, good back and forth action, so overall, it was alright, you know, the promo. Then we have the Bellas defeating Team PCB, and I've been saying this, the, the revolution or whatever has been sucking, and this proves my point here, the crowd was fucking chanting random shit, uh, doing a fucking wave, I mean, that's just fucking embarrassing, if you're fucking Vince McMahon, if the crowd's not even into the fucking shit you're putting out, you know? And then they're singing happy birthday to Vince McMahon, and all these idiots who are fucking bashing the product here are fucking singing happy birthday to the same man whose product they're bashing, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I would be booing when they're singing happy birthday to Vince McMahon because he's the guy who's giving you this shit. So you're booing the shit, but then you're cheering him afterwards. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, pick a fucking side. So then then we have the fucking match. And the, the match, again, it sucked. It was, I'm going to give it 0.75 out of 5 stars. Boring fucking match. This fucking revolution, again, it just continues to fucking suck. The match was boring. You know, just do one-on-one -on -one matches. That's usually when you get the best matches. Tag team matches tend to suck, in my opinion. So then we have Stardust, Barrett, and Neville doing a segment. All you got is Rhodes attacking Barrett. Then you have fucking Neville attacking Rhodes. It was like a two-minute segment. Short, stupid, unnecessary, and pointless. 
then you have Cena, then you have uh, John Stewart coming out to cut a promo and explain his actions. It's cool to see John Stewart here and everything like that. And then Flair comes out because Stewart said he ended Cena, you know, he, he attacked Cena because he didn't want to see Flair's streak end. So very cool there, though, to see fucking, you know, Flair come out, you know, Cena, and then, then, then John Stewart gets an ad attitude adjustment, which was pretty cool. So all in all, a very good segment, I thought, to see John Stewart, Cena, and Flair all together cutting promos and shit. That was a very good segment there. Then we have uh, the eight-man tag match, which was just a fucking pointless and boring match. Uh, you know, uh, the, the baby faces win, you know, you had Orton, some, whatever, it was like fucking Orton, Ziggler, Cesaro, and another person defeating Big Show, uh, Sheamus, uh, whatever, but, just a boring fucking match, you knew this match would be boring, you know, uh, it, it was just boring, it was fucking typical fucking tag match, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing new, nothing good, fucking, it sucked, it was boring. From, and all these wrestlers are like the, these mainline wrestlers who have been on top of the company now for a long fucking time. And they all always put on fucking horrible matches, you know. Sheamus, Orton, Big Show. I mean, Owens is good, Cesaro is good. But other than that, I mean, I can't I can't name anybody in this match who that I can remember who's really that good. And they all fucking suck. And they all proved it here with a, with a boring fucking match. Then everybody beats a Big Show after the match. I mean, I guess that RKO was kind of cool there where Cesaro... And uh, Ryback picked him up and then he got RKO. That was kind of cool. But overall, the match fucking sucked. The segment fucking sucked. Half star out of five. Then we get the the, the, the main event, the Rollins uh, ceremony there. Very cool. You know, Sting comes back. Awesome. You know, they lift up the fucking banner or, or, or the fuck, fucking curtain and Sting's under there. Very fucking cool. You know, to see Sting back and he attacks Rollins. Great fucking ending. You know, that, that that was cool, you know, uh, to see Sting back. And they really hit the head on the nail today, or, or, or this week, with, with, with fucking Raw. Put on a fucking good, really good show. I mean, let's go through it here. You had fucking Heyman opening the show, good promo. Dudley's returning. You know, the, the, the debut of the Wyatt family member. Um... Cena, Flair, and Jon Stewart cutting a, cutting a really good uh, segment there and a good promo. And then the end there, you have Sting coming back. So a lot of really great things on this show. Got to give it to WWE. They really pulled out all the stops there. And they recovered greatly from their shitty SummerSlam. Uh, so, the, the, I mean, they really tried hard to put on a really great Raw here. And you could tell they were trying to put on a really good show. So that was good. So I'm going to give this show overall 8 out of 10 stars. You know, you had Returns. You had Jon Stewart. You had Sting, Dudleys. You had it all. You had a really great show tonight. Maybe not great, but it was really good. A quality Raw. So there you go, people. There's your Raw review.